Summer sun, the uh, Texas-like heat is bringing Vancouver Islanders outside and many of them are bringing their pets with them. Dog parks are packed with people and their pooches, but one dog park in Nanaimo saw the togetherness turn ugly. A woman was trying to separate two dogs that were entangled in their choke chains and she was badly bitten. She wants you to know about it so it doesn't happen to anybody else. CTV's Scott Cunningham has more on that for us. Joining us tonight from Nanaimo, Scott. Hudson, there's a movement taking place in the Harbor City. Dog lovers saying they need change, and it has to start with what owners put around the necks of man's best friend. <laughs> it started as innocently as this. Dogs enjoying a park for only them in Nanaimo. But Sunday, the innocence was quickly destroyed with one bite. I fully expected to look down and see that the tip had been um, amputated. Um, I expected it to be in the dog's mouth. Her middle finger hanging from a thread of flesh, dog owner Judy Roses paid a price she takes full responsibility for. Her Rottweiler Angel was wearing a metal choke chain in the park. Judy usually takes it off, but this day it was on when it became tangled in another dog's mouth. Try and do what you can to help because you're watching your dog choke out in front of you. Judy almost lost her finger and has several puncture wounds straight through her hand. Scars that have her and other dog owners mobilizing. They want to see anyone who brings a dog through these gates to take off metal choke chains. I'm willing to, to, uh, to go the extra mile to, to inform people. That's, that's very, very important. And if we can get a bylaw, even better. Putting a choke collar on your dog and bringing them to a dog park wouldn't be wrong. Currently, there are no rules against it. But experts say just because there isn't a rule doesn't mean it's right. Animal control officials say this happens often enough to be a problem. Metal collars trapping two normally friendly animals and forcing them to lash out. These should be used only when you're training the dogs. This collar right here is what should be placed on the dog when it's walking around and playing with other dogs. Flyers are up at Bebbin Park and a group of women aren't stopping there, pushing for a city bylaw to ban choke chains in dog-specific areas. I do not wish this upon anybody. As a matter of fact, my goal is to prevent this from ever happening to anybody again. Nanaimo bylaw officers say they are willing to hear any concerns and if necessary, make a change. If Judy and her friends are successful in lobbying for change, it would be a first. According to BC SPCA, no such choke chain bylaws exist anywhere in the province. And when CTV News went digging, the only place we could find with similar restrictions was in Victoria, Australia. Hudson? All right, Scott Cunningham reporting tonight from our Mid-Island Bureau in the Nile. Scott, thanks.